Hey, are you thinking about moving to the East Bay and looking into the city of Fremont, but don't know which neighborhood? In this video, that's what we will look into. We're gonna look at one of the most sought after neighborhood right here in Fremont called Ardenwood. Stick around to the end and I will give you a tour of a house that's for sale right now. Hey guys, it's Mac Rogers, broker owner of Albert Rogers Realty right here in Castro Valley, California in the lovely East Bay of San Francisco. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. This channel's all about living in the East Bay. What is it like to live here? How much does it cost to live here? Where do you live here? What do you do here? If that is you, we would love to help you out. We get a lot of calls from people just like you moving here or moving out of here. Give us a call, send us a text message, email, no matter how you want to reach us, we're here for you. Ardenwood is uh, bordered by uh, Deep Creek and uh, Paseo Padre. Those are kind of like the main uh, main roads uh, leading up to the, the neighborhood. It's not a very uh, pedestrian friendly neighborhood in terms of um, in terms of doing your chores. If you were going to buy something or if you were going to head out to uh, to a restaurant, um, you know that type of stuff. But it's it's nice to walk around because it's uh, it's very very neighborly it's very friendly one of the key things that most people or most home buyers uh, love about this area is its school district the schools over here is absolutely fabulous uh, there are two elementary schools that serve the neighborhood one is uh, Ardenwood and one is Forest Park and both of them are within walking distance to the house that I'm gonna give you a tour uh, later on so we're here at the uh, Forest Park Elementary School. This is one of the uh, schools that are close by to the property or in the Ardenwood neighborhood. There you go. It's a very top rated elementary school. So that's why a lot of people uh, love uh, moving over here and even investors, they, um, they buy homes over here because renters are always looking to move over here just for the school district so here's another top rated elementary school right here in uh, the Ardenwood neighborhood it's Ardenwood elementary school right here there you go that's the school and again these are the different types of homes that uh, that you find here in uh, Ardenwood these homes are a little bit uh, bigger than uh, on the other side. Another plus about the Ardenwood neighborhood is that they have parks. So if you love open spaces, there's definitely uh, that for you. And also for the kids, they have uh, playgrounds uh, in, uh, in those open spaces. So this is one of the parks over here in the Ardenwood uh, neighborhood. It's called uh, Frank Fisher Neighborhood Park. So. So they have a baseball diamond and then I don't know if you can see all the way back there there's a playground for the kids it's right next to the Forest Park Elementary School so what's nice about this is uh, when you're picking up your kids if they don't want to go home yet you know you can take them to the park it's right here and there are the other types of uh, homes around here as you can see also more single-family homes over there um, apartment over here and these are your other homes. So this is one of the most, uh, this is one of the nice parks around here. We'll check out another park. They have two playgrounds. So there's a one and another one over there. And then there's a one over there as well. So here's another park here in uh, Ardenwood uh, neighborhood. You have, it's also right next to the Ardenwood uh, elementary school. It's a big wide open field. You have the kids uh, play structure over there. And again, another uh, baseball diamond. And there you have different houses again over here. So this is another park uh, here in Hardenwood. There are several different types of uh, housing uh, out here in Ardenwood. One of them is a condo, other one is a townhouse, and then um, you also have single family detached homes and um, um, uh, uh, duets. 
So those are the types of homes that you have over here. And they range from uh, between uh, probably the low end is uh, around uh, uh, the low 600s and all the way up to 1.2, 1.5 million dollars depending on the size. Now, if you like taking BART or you take BART to, uh, to work, BART is around 5.7 miles uh, away from uh, Ardenwood. It's about uh, it's about a 14-15 minute uh, drive. In terms of crime, Ardenwood has a very low crime rate. It's about 47% than the national average. Violent crimes in Ardenwood are 85% lower than the national average as well. In Ardenwood, you have a 1 in 74 chance of becoming a victim of a crime. Ardenwood is 88% safer than the rest of the cities in California. And year over year, crime in Ardenwood has been going down. So I mentioned earlier that uh, one of the reasons that um, uh, people move here is the schools. So you have Forest and uh, Ardenwood. And then for high school, you have American High School. And then you also have the, um, the, the choice to go on to Irvington. Irvington is a little bit uh, further out there and you do need to apply every year if you wanted to send your kids over there. Hey guys, thanks for dropping by. So this is the house that I was telling you about that we're gonna tour. It's uh, 4916 uh, Creekwood Drive. Let's go inside. Before we go inside, this is the neighborhood for Creekwood. Let's go check it out. Oh, hi guys, it's me again. Okay, welcome to the property. As you walk into the property, you have this, uh, you have this half bath for your guests. So that's nice, they don't have to go upstairs. And then as you can see, the nice open floor plan of the living room, nice tall or high vaulted ceilings. Everything's newly painted. We have new carpets over here. And look at this amazing new updated kitchen. It's been recently remodeled. Nice countertops, nice brown cabinets, and you have your eat-in area over there. And here you have your dining room. And when you're coming home from work or wherever you're coming from, if you want to rest, take a, you know, do a little bit of relaxing, you can go onto your own jacuzzi right there in the patio backyard. Check it out, this is your patio. So this is your living room, check it out. It's all open concept. You're dining. What's nice is that if you're in the kitchen and if you have guests, you can still see them. You're now gonna be all uh, cooped up in one place while everyone's having fun. And up there are the bedrooms. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you won't miss a thing when we put out videos all about living in the East Bay.